me, gentlemen, from the Bronx. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Wayne Payne. Hey, how you doing, everybody? How's it going? You know, the tough thing about performing comedy is that no matter how well you think you're doing up here, you can run into an audience that could be really harsh to you. Right? I remember doing a room in the Bronx. It was full of Jamaican people. I was giving my best stuff, but it wasn't good enough. All I heard was silence. And then this Jamaican man just stood up and said, get down. Come off the stage. Bring the next one on. Mr. Producer, bring the next one. He just kept swinging his hand like this. Bring them out. Get the next one. Uh, any recent college graduates? Uh, any people went to college in here? Yeah? I went to college. Uh, I went to a school upstate called SUNY Oneonta. Uh, I uh, did a lot of drugs when I was up there. So when people ask me what I majored in, I just tell them narcotics. <laughs> I like to sound professional, keep it professional. There's a lot of misconception about college degrees. You know? People think that you're entitled to this large lump sum of money and that there's this vast array of job opportunities out there for you. But that's not really the case. All a college degree does is it gives you the privilege to say, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> now, if you want to take it up a notch and get your master's, you can say, I really know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and if you want to go further, get your PhD, you can tell people, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I've studied this for 32 years. I wrote a dissertation, a thousand two pages. You do not know what you're talking about. <laughs> Give it up for yourselves. You look great. You look great. Cigars and ice, cigars and ice. I'm like an animal in the flashing lights, flashing lights. I'm sorry, yeah, that song was in my head. That Beyonce song, Drunk in Love. Y'all heard of that, right? Oh uh, man, music is powerful, ain't it? It could get you to do things. Music could get you to drink, get you to get drunk. Music can make you fall in love. Sometimes. It can lead you down the wrong path. Because the last time I got drunk in love, I was drunk. I was in love, all right. And because of that, now I'm in debt. <laughs> Who said love doesn't cost a thing? That's the thing that we cost it. Oh, man. Men, women, we're from two different worlds. Two different worlds. I remember run running into an old female friend of mine the other day, she came up to me, she was like, Hey, Wayne, <laughs> I hate you doing comedy now. <laughs> Are you dating anybody? I'm like, no, I'm not dating. I, I don't really have the money like that to be dating around. She was like, Wayne, it is not about money. It is about self-esteem. It's not about money, fellas. It's about self-esteem. She surprised me with that one, because I'd never heard that before. I thought she was the one. So I took her out. We had shrimp, lobster, wine. We was having a good time. And when the waitress bought the check back, she asked me, how would you be paying that, sir? Cash or card? I said, do you, do you take self-esteem? Because that's, that's all I have. I don't know what you Oh, man. The N-word, it's weird, it's confusing. It can cause a lot of commotion on who can say it or who can't. I remember recently at a show, I asked this white man, I said, hey sir, do you like black people? He was like, yeah. Uh, d look, don't lie to me. <laughs> do you use the N-word? He said, no, no, I don't use the N-word. Hey, in fact, I don't even write the N train, okay? That's how much of the N I'm not for. And I'm from Queens. Okay? Oh man. Relationships. 
Relationships are tough. Tough to deal with. You know, relationships are like cell phones, you know? You know? Hopping into a relationship is like signing up two-year agreement contracts, right? You know, you got your iPhone types, you got your Galaxy types. And when you hop into one, you know, you, it's, I swear, it's like signing up two-year agreement contracts, you know? Everything is all right in the beginning, but let a few months go by. Then you realize you're paying all these miscellaneous fees, <laughs> borough tax, African-American tax. <laughs> And then you call the phone companies to complain. And then they tell you you gotta pay this ridiculous cancellation fee to cancel the contract. Right? That's like alimony and divorce. That's why right now the kind of women I deal with are Boost Mobile. <laughs> Prepaid. No contracts, no hidden fees. I just pay as I go. <laughs> Thank you guys. My name is Wayne Payne. <laughs>